Hi, it's Stephen McCarthy from Dual Lock Advisors. Just wanted to say a quick hello and discuss something that's been occurring through COVID and the challenges that it presents to the market. One of the biggest things that's happened is that we've had government interference or support relevant to giving a grant and therefore people wanting to build houses. With interest rates at 2%, it's actually cheaper to own than it is to actually rent. What the challenge though is, is that we've built a certain amount of houses every year and we have a labour force that indicates a build around about 30,000 a year and we've done that consistently over a number of years. What the problem at the moment is, is that we've probably got twice as many orders than we used to because all the people from the rental market are now able to afford to buy land and build a house and to have a family home at a more cost affordable price than renting. The problem is we don't have the material and the subcontract labour to fulfil all the orders. So we've been discussing internally what the outcome of this is. Now, a lot of people are gonna go down a road of signing up with a builder and that builder won't be able to get material. When they do get material, it'll be at such a higher rate that it's very challenging for the builder to stay profitable and there's a chance that they might go broke. We're not trying to promote hysteria within the market but we need people to be very understanding of what they're signing up for and how it all works. If we go back to one of our basic principles, there's two ways to get a planning permit. One through a volume builder mentality and one through an architect. If you go down an architect's road, you will not get your price for approximately another year. Within that year of our industry in dual occupancy, at a price point of 1.2 to 1.4 million for a build from a local builder, you'll get a $150,000 increase on the basis it's gonna be a 10% movement. That's if the builder stays profitable and doesn't go broke. What we're encouraging you to do is to understand that at this point in time, you need to be with a more structured, bigger builder that can get supply because they have so much leverage within the market and also that hasn't taken on too many orders. See, some of the larger builders have doubled their order track and now have been told by the suppliers that they can only give them their standard supply. So that means that if they've doubled their orders from 150 to 300 a month, then they've got to go back and tell 150 people every month that they can't build for them. We actually don't know where those people are going to be able to go because everyone else's orders are full and there's not enough supply. So we want you to think very consciously about the go forward in the building industry at the moment. And it's a responsible position for us to take to indicate to you of where our market is and what some of the pitfalls are for the local developer and what they might come up against in the future. Once again, we're not trying to be alarmist, but if we can prevent people from going through a bad experience, we would like to contribute to that area and make it a better outcome for them. Thanks very much.